Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting technique that you probably haven't used. The main problem with filtering plugins is that um, let's say you have this sort of a lead that you have three different layers and um, you want to make a one single knob to use the filter with an envelope. The problem is, if you are using different plugins, you probably don't have any filter slots left or filter scaling is so different in this different plugin that it's hard to actually try to route everything to a one knob and make it sound natural and good. So let's uh, check out our problem here. As you can hear, this is just a cutoff filter and it is sounding pretty boring at the moment. Let's see what happens when we activate this MIDI out. It is sounding much more natural and now we have a enveloped filter to all of these sounds and this filter envelope is exactly the same in every instance of these uh, sounds because it is after the generator. You know the drill. So how do you come up with something like this? Um, it is really simple. So let's say first of all you are using patcher and um, Let's start from the mixer channel. I have my effects over here and everything is as normal as it can be. And I'm going to root my filter. Let's name this filter to make it more clear. So now we are going to set up our filter as the way as we like it. This is how I like it. For example, now in the reactor filter, you have this ADSR, Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release envelope here. And um, you have this gate mode. I'm using the MIDI to gate this envelope. Here in the filter modulation section, there is many different options, but um, I'm going to use the envelope. Here you can turn it on and off, and here is your depth for the uh, envelope mix. So now the filter is set up, and now we need to root our MIDI from our patcher into the reactor plugin. So first of all, we need to go into the settings and set a free input port to the MIDI. So let's choose the port input port 12. Now we are all ready to go in this plugin. We can close this plugin. And inside patcher, how do you make this connection? The neon green kind of uh, color lines are MIDI and these yellow lines, these are just audio. So we can pick a MIDI line over here. But um, first of all, we are going to open the MIDI out plugin and it automatically routes the MIDI to the plugin. Inside this plugin, you don't need to do nothing because we are using patcher. The thing is, we can right click this FL Studio output and go to inputs and we can go to events. And here you can see, see all the 255 available uh, digital MIDI ports. And as you can see, I already choose the port 12. You can choose multiple ports if you want. We choose the port 12 and now we take our MIDI out signal, which is this one and hover around the uh, wanted MIDI port. If you don't know which one of these ports is the MIDI out 12, you can check the left upper corner, and this is the MIDI port zero, and this is the MIDI port 12. Now we are all ready to go. If we go manipulate our filter, it is all ready to go. But um, let's say that we don't want to use this uh, thing inside patcher. 
let's say you have your leads inside the channel rack. It doesn't matter if I am using Patcher as an example because it is exactly the same thing. Uh, if you have multiple different plugins routed to a same channel, you can use the same filter inside the same channel. Now, the only difference is that you need to use this MIDI out plugin uh, inside the layer plugin or just by itself. I'm going to use this plugin just by itself. So the difference now is that we need to take our MIDI from all of our different channels and route it to the MIDI out plugin. Now we can choose the MIDI out port from here. I'm going to choose the port 12. As you can hear, it's working just fine and we are not using this uh, inside of the patcher. If I disable this, this is a very easy way to use this uh, technique, but um, you need to always remember to draw the MIDI. The patcher technique is superior because you can just play the patcher and it is just working. Like almost it's like a, like a stock plugin when you set up it correctly. So, if you want to make this filter mm, using FL Studio stock plugins, we need to copy our MIDI from our channels or our patcher. And next, we need to open a envelope controller. Let's paste the MIDI into envelope controller and let's come up with the shape like we want to filter to use. It's probably going to be something like this. Now we are going to route our cutoff from our filter to the Fruity Controller Articulator 1. Except now we are controlling the sound. But um, we have a problem because this cutoff filter is moving all the time. So we are going to use the X Y controller. We are going to go to cut mod X, do a shape like this. And next we need to set our base of this cutoff to be the full. And yeah, so probably what we would like to do is to use the layer to make this even more uh, advanced. Let's set up our layer over here and I'm going to choose these two things. Set children, turn up the volume. Let's cut the MIDI only into the layer. So yeah, that's the technique to use if you want to make advanced filtering techniques and when you know how to do this basic technique, you can use this to your advantage in many many different ways.